I'm Lucas. I'm Matt. And I'm Mitch. And this is our yeah. project. We use the XY table and the robot arm to work together to scan and pick up blocks, move them all the way. Here's our demonstration. First the robot arm moves out of the way. The XY table is going to the origin right now. If the XY table scans a block, the red light, the green light will come on if there's a block, and if there's not a block, the red light will come on. There's no block in the first spot, so the red light came on. Right here, uh, the green light should come on. Is this block there? And it did. So that should be the same thing for every single time it scans. Red light. It's moving over to the rope two now. Let's scan. Green light. Red light. If the iris sensor reads a block, it'll be denoted as a 1, and if it doesn't, it'll be denoted as a 0, and these values will be stored in a matrix, which will be accessed later with the robot arm. Alright, now the XY table is just going to move out of the way for the robot arm. Using a series of if statements and for loops, the robot arm will recognize if a block has been read in one of the squares, and then it'll pick up that block and move it to the solar sensor. So now the robot arm is going to come, and it should pick up the green block first. And place it on the solar sensor. If the solar sensor reads there's a block on it, the green light will come on. So that red light signals all the other blocks in between the green and blue block. There should have been three blinks on the red, or yeah, red light. So I picked up the blue. Great placement. <laughs> the green light. It immediately should go to the red because that was the next block that it. Did. The furthest the robot arm could reach. Green light. Two red lights. And then that's it.